Good morning, Tom. I uh, want to get back with you on your family photograph of your family's pharmacy up north. Just for viewing purposes, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit of contrast and brightness so that we can get a little bit better idea of what we're looking at. So let's give that a shot. There we go. To get started, uh, of course, I know that you had mentioned about we want to go ahead and move the different uh, debris that you have in the front of the store. And we'll see all that as we move throughout the video. You can see some cracks down in this area, pavement missing, things of that nature. Also, while we're looking at the full image, I'd like to bring to your attention uh, the background here and the sky area. You can see this is all just sky. There's nothing there, and you also have the lines that are running for the trolley cars that ran down the street with the supporting pole for the power itself. We can go ahead and remove, let's say, the lines we have here, and in the background area, over the tree and back around this area, put a nice clouded kind of background where you've got a cloud in the background to, to kind of get a little bit more. But doing that, we'd have to remove the lines that you could see here and the pole. Uh, just food for thought. And the next thing I want to bring to your attention are the anchor automobiles on each end. We have one here and one here. And as you're starting to see, the center of the photograph has some pretty good sharp definition to it. The farther away you get from the photograph, you're starting to see the blurry. So that might be a little bit of an area there that's a little bit strange. And the biggest thing is going to be the sign that we're looking at right here. That signage is going to be probably not as clear and as distinct as you would think it would be because it is on an angle. You can see that the light is coming in from this area here because of the shadowing that we're starting to pick up. And there's just not anything there is blurred that can be done for that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of blow the picture up a little bit. And I'm going to start over on the right-hand side and let's see if we can't get something going here. I'm going to start at the top right. And quickly now, I'm just going to come across because we know the skyline. And you can see uh, the areas that are going to be needing some type of uh, repair and restoration. And then I'm going to drop it back down. This is the pole and the lines I was referring to. And let's drop it down. And we're going to look at the, as I mentioned to you, the, excuse me, the actual photograph of the car here that, as you can see, is very blurred. Moving over to the truck. Now the truck, if I'm not mistaken, let me bring this down just a hair. The truck you'd mentioned that you'd like to have colorized also, so that would be included in the uh, idea of what we want to get done here. And you can see all the black markings. And as we move around also, the debris that you had mentioned in front of the store that you're talking about, things of this nature that you'd want to have removed, the front here, over in this area, get that done for you. Now as we move along to you, I want to go up a little bit because I, I remember years ago myself seeing things of this nature, and believe it or not, the old alarm system that they have right here for the break-ins, and also something you don't see very often because probably there wasn't air conditioning and the stores at this time would be an exhaust fan at the very front. So we've got that. And if we come down a little bit farther and we move over, something we don't see anymore are mailboxes. You can also see some of the restoration work that would have to be done throughout this area right here. Of course, you know about the scratching. You can see the work that will be necessary. Now we're back over to the automobile, and you can see that it's very blurred. It's going to be tough to try to clean that up to where it's not as blurred as before. And when we get down into the uh, area itself of the, of the drive, you can see where I had mentioned to you about cleaning up the front here is starting to come into focus. The debris, of course, that you see laying around will be taken care of. So just gradually moving through, you can get an idea of the work that's going to be necessary to bring this back to a nice family photograph. 
and you can see the scratching that you had mentioned of course and the you've got a line that's run through here and you've got a line that's starting to appear here through the top also I'm just scooting along the bottom just taking more time you can look through this and let's get back up to the coca-cola area hmm, nice barbershop pole there I didn't see that that's interesting and of course you've got the corner cafe you can see the sign in this area right here and I'm sure as a young man you were very familiar with that area and especially the barbershop all right let's move gradually along interesting little films I'm curious what type of films that y'all were producing there <laughs> and then what I thought was also interesting if you'll notice it says the special one half gallon of ice cream 59 cents Borden's ice cream at that let's see if we've got anything else that we can look at here you can see the work that has to be done I don't need to point that out to you now I'm not quite sure and it might be uh, is the sign that we're looking at did the sign actually roll up and roll down in this area probably not and I'm seeing a stop sign that's what I thought this might have been a roller but this is a stop sign and the homes next to it back down again and we'll swing back up so we can get a, an idea about the coca-cola signage in the front and of course you can see the the lamps that produce the light over top of the signage itself the big lamp here now you know I might suggest that we take this one out as you can see it's not going to do much it does break this up in the front and just run this completely across here like this get rid of the, the line that came down through the front the shadowing is what that is go across and you can it's kind of nice to look at your family's pharmacy Brian pharmacy and there it is that should do it I'm going to kind of swing out of it right now and bring it back to its normal size and if you have any questions please get back to me I am going to need some type of answer before I get started on what you would like to do with area up here uh, personally uh, I think some kind of a, a nice background of a cloud or something like that might be a little bit nicer but if you'd like to leave that in there there's no problem with that whatsoever well thank you for your time and I uh, look forward to talking with you and uh, take care bye bye now